This is our field. A beautiful turf field. We got Lee and Minnick in the cage. What is up guys, this is your boy Steven Kinez back at it again. Today we're coming at you guys with a special one. I'm collaborating with your boy Hayden Cantrell. He's a shortstop for University of Louisiana. Today we're gonna be showing you the differences in comparing the day in the life of a JUCO baseball player and the day in the life of a D1 baseball player. As some of you guys know, I'm at my last season here at LA Valley. I'm a sophomore, so I'm looking to transfer schools next year. I thought I might as well collab with my boy Hayden to see what the D1 level is like. It'd be a preview for next year. And yeah, it's gonna be a fun one, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe if you want more videos like this. With that said, I'm gonna send you guys to Lafayette, Louisiana. See what Aiden's up to. But first, let's get a baby cute intro. It feels right, it feels right, yeah. I'm gonna say that it feels right. What's up guys, I'm Hayden Cantrell. Like Steve was saying, we'll be comparing, you know, showing you guys what it looks like from a junior college to a division one baseball player. And you know, I can't wait to show you guys what division one life is about a little bit on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you guys may know a little bit about me, I go to University of Louisiana. You might see on the scoreboard right there. Lafayette, Louisiana. I was born and raised here. This has been my home for all 21 years of my life. You know, no complaints so far. You guys might have also seen on YouTube, I played in the Cape Cod a little bit and that was awesome. I may possibly have the opportunity, you know, to play pro ball after this year or I may not you know whatever happens happens I got one final today we still have stuff to do you know we're gonna work out a little bit and I'll still show you guys around so a few moments later now we're on our way to breakfast. As an athlete here at University of Louisiana, we're pretty lucky. They got a big nutrition center for us. I don't have to spend money on meals. They do give breakfast that you can pay for over here, and that's really good too. But this morning, you know, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit what the fueling station is like. It's always nice having this. Help save us a lot of money. So I'll be just grabbing a few sandwiches. I'm gonna head to the locker room and eat. Just got my breakfast, and there's one thing to know about you know Division One lifestyle or you know whatever you want to call it. It's so fast paced. You know, I'm always eating on the go. And that's why I always I stop here and get breakfast because morning coach. All right, guys, I'm back. Just talking to my coach. You know, like how I'm saying, that's why I get food to go, you know, because everything's one after another. So, you know, I got one final day. I'm already on the way for that. And after that, guys, we have a voluntary lift today because it's finals week. Legally, they can't make us do anything. But that's one thing we do. You know, we like working out, right? Because, you know, you got to keep your body in shape. So we'll have times to go work out. And, you know, if this rain holds up, uh, it rains a lot in Louisiana. We can get some swings and get you guys some clips of that, too. So outside of that, you know, I could probably give you guys we'll do a tour of the stadium and i'll show you guys our nice complex so with that said i'm done with the first meal back to steven all right guys we are just getting to the field oh my Bro, they can't hear you. Guys, we are actually just finishing up with finals. So I actually didn't have school today. And since it's pretty much winter break now, uh, we have like optional field times that we can go to the field. Yeah, check out our dope facility. A beautiful turf field. Everybody's out here. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Heels only. <laughs> Heels only. We got two alumni right here, Jason and AD. What up, bro? What's up, man? Okay, guys, so now I'm gonna get my work in and then probably gonna head to the library, get some editing done. Yeah, let's get it. What's up, bro? What's up, vlog? How's it going? Bullpen catching today? No, good. Do some receiving off the machine. This is my feeder. Highly uh, qualified for the job. Yeah, he's actually overqualified for the job. He's not qualified to catch. Not qualified to catch at all. <laughs> what? What up, Lucio? <laughs> we got Lee and Minnick in the cage. Minnick wearing the Valley Boys shirt. So I like to see. Living like a race. Ain't no sign of stopping on my pace. You guys call me blue if that's bad luck because it's yellow, not red. It's extra good luck. Super <laughs> bad luck. No. What's up, man? No ground ball test going. Three chances. Bubble ball to strike. And if you miss the ball to strike, light Dope. drive, you go again. You're the best man win right here. I'm not participating. Um, I am an outfielder, so my skills are not heightened like these first basemen and infielders. But that ball was crushed. Ooh, it's the Valley Boy right there. That's right. Always. To pack baseball. Shout out pack baseball, baby. See you, Pueblo. That's uh, Coach Bloom's alma mater, too. Or Coach Bloom out here. Oh, go for it to shout out to LSU. Yeah, I'm committed there. <laughs> what? <laughs> you, guys, you guys heard of the school? L L Louisiana? It's whatever. Oh, shoot. Bro, there's so many missed balls over there. Bad hits by Nick. That's all Nick. That's all Nick? <laughs> no one's missing. He's all Nick. Yeah, no one's missing. Behind us is clearly a PO hitting his ground ball. <laughs> Look at that, man. That's like 20 balls. Yeah. But now they're using the machine, man. That thing is gas. 
Alright, take away his gold glove. I'm gonna take that one out of the vlog. Ooh, bro, the thing was gas. I'm just looking at it right now. Oh my god. Oh, Ooh. that. I think it looks like a flying saucer. That's a seesaw first baseman right there. Later. <laughs> that is like a hundo. There you go. Oh boy. Transfer. A few moments later. All right, guys, I just finished working out at Valley. Got some good hitting in. Probably gonna throw later. Yeah, dude, our facility is super nice, super blessed at Alley Valley College, especially for only being a JUCO. I know a couple guys in their field suck at their JUCOs. But yeah, look, we got the we got the sick track too, Alley Valley College track. And then we have, unfortunately do not have weight room today, but but I'm gonna insert a clip from the last vlog. So yeah, man, that's pretty sick. I'm right now. I'm headed to the library. About to get this editing grind on. Probably gonna edit this video to be honest. Yeah, I'll send it back to Hayden. Just finished my final. Feel pretty good about it. We're gonna go work out. You know, on a typical day like today, I would get out of class around this time. You know, and we'd probably usually work out at like one o'clock. But you know, since we get to go at our own pace, you know, I like to go a little bit earlier. That's what me and my friends are gonna be doing today. So yeah, guys, this is our field. Pretty sweet. Wow. You know, it's been a lot different since I was been growing up and coming to games here. Just recently, we just got this whole grandstand redone and stuff. So that's where I play. I play right there. Supremely blessed, man, to be able to come out here and call this place home. One of the nicest places in the country. I think we're like eighth in the country in attendance as far as last year and I think the year before that too. I mean, this place gets pretty rocking. It's definitely one of the coolest venues, you know, in the country to play at. This is our dugout. Here's one of my boys, David. He's in the bullpen getting his work done. Our cages are down there. Right there in the middle is the cooking club. They feed us after games and stuff so these are like party decks right here like when we play like lsu or when we played texas my freshman year and last year actually this place was absolutely juiced there would be like no standing room up here you get a nice view of me from here from here you get a good view of our entire athletic complex right here is the tennis courts this is where they actually play and they practice over there this is where i just had class i just had class in this building over here far off that's our softball field they're like one of the best in the country every year they're nationally ranked so they're really good and this big buildings are indoor facility so we'll go there in a second too from here you get a big pan of uh the cajun dome and this is where our basketball team plays games also year round they have like monster jam the circus i think lil wayne performed in the cajun dome one time a lot happens on this campus this is what they call a stadium club you have seats i'm um, in this grandstand you can come in here during the game they got beer taps and i've never been here during a game because i've been on the field but they usually watch the game in here and they pretty much throw a party in here for the most part yeah i probably can't get in there up there i definitely don't have access to those are just people who have uh, season tickets but they also reserve a room up there so a specific party room for each of them so that's pretty neat just here on the other side you can see our parking lot and it's the back end of the football stadium so yes yeah, so that's where all the players park for practice and stuff so yeah i think it just goes to show like how busy our lives are you know as athletes you know it's finals week and none of us are required except the football team and the basketball teams are required to actually be at practice and doing things but you know to stay up to shape you know with with the rest of the competition you know you got you got to be out here so that's one thing i like about this university it's a, and the athletes here they're all really hard workers and um, no it's just fun to be around these people every day a merch shop so if they're in the game you wanted to get some clothes or whatever personally never been in here before but got some shirts and stuff all of our all americans there's gunner i played with gunner he was really good wyatt marks he's from lafayette you got dylan moore senior when i was a freshman awesome teammate and you got blake like was a big leaguer. It's kind of cool, you know, you see all these banners every day and uh, you're just hoping that you can get yours up there too, you know, because these are all people who have done a lot for our program and, you know, they also did some damage to the next level too. So yeah, guys, this is my locker. I'm playing some country tunes over there. Toothpicks, I like to shoot toothpicks. That's my hat. So our coach that died, he was number 36. So we all wear 36 hats for practice and stuff. All right, boys, we're on the way to go lift. But it's coincidental that I'm here with two Juco bandits themselves. For video's sake, give me one difference or what is the difference between Juco and in D1, Ben. Well, first off, we would not be walking into a building like this back at Juco. Wow. 
Okay, that's a good starter. What about you, crony? This weight room is probably about four times the size of anything we lifted in. That's true, that's true. Y'all about to see that too. Hey! All right, time to work out. Yeah, so after weights, always get a banana and a protein shake. But yeah, since we're here and they got lunch for us every day, so I'm gonna go grab that, a lunch and my dinner, just so I have to come back later. So I'm gonna show y'all what that looks like. At least we get a, a lunch and a dinner every night. Grab a dinner, and grab a lunch. And it's nice, you know, we get these meals. It helps save us a lot of money, which is really important because, you know, as a college athlete, you know, a lot of times you'll have to, like, we'll spend money sometimes just to make it, you know, easier for us. Uh, you no know, getting place to place, but our university does a really good job. They give us plenty of food, so we don't have to go buy any of our own. You know, and there's some days, you know, where you go, you get lunch sometimes. I mean, it's just sometimes how it works, but we're real blessed over here. There's one part I didn't show you guys. It was the, the training room. They don't allow phones in there for confidentiality reasons, you know, just in case you know media comes in there like they don't ever allow cameras of any kind but yeah so in there we have a, a really nice training room a really good staff too they got cold tubs hot tubs they got like a underwater treadmill and stuff so you know a lot of stuff as an athlete that you can work with your trainer for your sport and uh you know get the right work in you know for rehab or if you just need to feel better and stuff so many tic tacs later all right so we just finished weights i just ate a little lunch we're out here on the field we're about to throw a little bit and then we're gonna go take some swings So me and Benny are about to set up for some uh, some hack swings. Try to get a little bit of feel. We're making the guts move to bring some wood out here. We'll see how many we keep. The rain got us. All right, guys, I just finished hitting. Let me send it back to Steve. All right, guys, yeah, as you can tell, it is a little bit later in the day. It's like nighttime. Yeah, I'm about to go to the gym right now. Like I said, we didn't have weights at school today. So yeah, about to get it in. Gonna do some chest, not gonna lie. I know a lot of baseball players don't like to do chest and stuff. I kind of had a push day and I had to condense it. So I took out chest, so I gotta, I gotta make up for it. So we're gonna go chest and triceps. And yeah, let's get it, cue the montage. All right, guys, just finished my workout. It was a good one, got a good like chest and tricep pump in. Like I said, not very baseball oriented. Typically, it's more like full body or like compound movements and stuff. If you guys wanna see more of that, make sure to subscribe to the channel because I put out workout videos all the time. So yeah, I am about to boost it board home. Yeah, I'll send it back to Hayden. So what's up, guys? We're at my apartment complex. Try to show you guys around a little bit. So yeah, guys, this is the apartment. See, we actually got a pretty nice and neat here. I like to keep things pretty clean. Pretty uh, laid back, you know. We got a little guitar action. GameCube, you know, we'll hook it up on the TV sometimes. This is like our porch. We'll hang out here when it's cool, but Louisiana is so hot. We usually don't spend a lot of time out here. A lot of us will actually stay in apartments actually off campus just because it's cheaper. You know, it's actually necessary. You know, tuition is so expensive usually. You know, if you're not on a lot of scholarship, and that's the thing about baseball, you know, none of us are on full scholarships. So, you know, a lot of stuff like living and other than that, you take care of yourself. So, that's usually how that goes. Hey, Lola. There's Lola. <laughs> She's excited. <laughs> Yeah, so Lola we'll keeps it fun around here. I'll go show you guys my room. This is the bathroom. It's all pretty chill. You know, me and my other roommate share the bathroom in here. And then uh, this is my room. Made the bed a little bit. Computer, a little assignment board and stuff. I also have a PlayStation too, so I really enjoy playing Madden on there. I'm also a reader too. Got a little stack of books. I like to read from these from time to time too. Yeah, guys, so that's my apartment and stuff. I mean, in reality, like, it's just the place where I stay. So, you know, I really don't, like, blow it up probably as much as I, uh, as other people do. I just you know i just make it what it's got to be so but uh yeah so right now i'm headed to go pick up some food at chipotle and then i'm going to hang with some boys to go watch some monday night football so uh, uh, best we could ever play, man. Hey, how's it going, man? Yeah. 
<laughs> All right, guys, I'm back at my crib now. And yeah, man, I just got back from hanging out with my teammates. You know, we watched some Monday Night Football. But yeah, I'm back here. You know, I also want to harp on, you know, how grateful I am, you know, to be able to, to play for my hometown school every day. And for those of you who may be out there who want to go D1 or, or play for whatever school it is you want, man, I suggest you, you know, you bust it every day. Every day there's going to be somebody that's going to outwork you if you fail to choose to make that decision. So, you know, as far as that, man, you can only control what you can control. But, you know, that at the heart of it all is the most important if you ask me so i don't think steven you know let me do this video with him you know my dude's really cool you know i gotta respect his grind you know he's really good at what he does too so but yeah guys go check me out on youtube as well at the number five guy you can also follow me on instagram at hayden cantrell five that's up to you guys but you know that's it for me you know thanks again to steven and y'all can check me out too man but hey five guy out all right, guys, that's gonna be the end of the video today. Yeah, guys, I'm like Hayden. I actually live at home with my family right now. My school's only like 10, 15 minutes away. Super fortunate for that. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. This is my first type of collab video. Comment down below if you guys want me to collab with Hayden again. He gave you guys an insight on what Division One life is like. Nobody really sees the D1 level of baseball, like maybe basketball, football. But it's pretty dope. So if you guys want to see more of that stuff, go subscribe to his channel. His channel is called Five Guy. Hayden's links are gonna be in the description. So yeah, make sure to go give him a follow. You're gonna have a big season this year, man. This is draft year, baby. Yeah, guys. Also. So, um, I may have cut the flow, man. As you can see, I got it short. I don't know, I kind of just made an impulse decision to just cut the flow. Looking back at it, I probably should have kept a little bit of it or something. I should have done something. I'll have some of it back for season, so so don't get too crazy, all right? Yeah, I just want to say Happy New Year. Guys, it's 2020. The Valley Boys are going to own this year. Shout out Valley Boys. Yeah, man, super psyched. Got a ton of things I want to get done this year. A lot of milestones to accomplish. Yeah, I just wanted to start off this year right and get out a YouTube video for you. Shout out to my guy for post notifications. If you guys want to post notifications, shout out. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell and then comment done it's as easy as that and you can possibly get a shout out for the next video yeah guys make sure to follow my instagram and tiktok both at stns14 make sure to follow hayden yeah guys that's gonna be the end of the video today i'll see you guys in the next one peace